Hello. This is a quick start video about sound camera. In this video, we are going to learn how to assemble and start using sound camera with our laptop. Sound camera is a real-time portable device which visualizes transient and stationary sound sources in the environment using beamforming technology. When you purchase sound camera, you will receive the following item. A pentagonal shape, a microphone array, PoE controller, AC to DC adapter, a Lemo to Lemo cable, and a LAN cable. You will also need a laptop in order to see the visualizations from your sound camera in the software that comes with the sound camera and it's called real-time software, which you, have, you should have installed it beforehand. The pentagonal shaped array microphone has 30 uh, high-definition MEMS uh, microphones uh, which uh, located in an spiral shape with five wings. The spiral shapes of the microphone are to incorporate the best placement of the microphone for beamforming beside the ergonomic design. In the center of the um, pentagonal, we can see an optical camera which captures the video uh, with 25 frames per second. The, uh, the portability of the sound camera comes from its lightweight, which is two kilogram. In the rear side, you can see two side handles uh, for stable measurements and one uh, central handle for more accessibility in the measurement. You can also use sound camera with tripod for long measurements. In order to connect the sound camera uh, to the laptop, we use the PoE controller. So connect the PoE controller uh, to electricity using the AC to DC adapter and use the uh, Lemo to Lemo cable to connect the controller to the sound camera, as you can see here. In the wired version of the sound camera, we also need to use a LAN cable to connect the sound camera to the laptop. You don't need to use the LAN cable in the wireless model. To turn on the sound camera, there is a power button in the rear side of the sound camera. Press the button for three seconds, a light will turn on here. And to make sure that the initialization of the sound camera is done successfully, check the LED light near the, uh, around uh, the optical camera. This, this light uh, will turn into orange around 30 seconds and then green after 30 seconds. And then the green uh, color shows that the initialization is successful. In the other hand, to make sure that the connection between the camera and the software is successful, you need to check the software. In the software, there are two buttons called camera and DAQ. These two buttons should turn into orange. And after that, you will receive the uh, captured video in your laptop. And also, you can see the beamforming map on the video. In order to learn how to adjust the setting for the best visualization based on your measurement requirement, watch our next tutorial on the real-time software. Thank you and have a nice day.